over there with Andy. Speaking of learning the system, Coach was in here and you talked about how much growth you have made in the last year in that, and just knowing and understanding all the offensive stuff. How much work did you put in this offseason to get all that uh, you know, uh, grasp? And, and have you seen those kind of same strides? You know, I, I have, and I think for everyone, I think all, all of our returners, um, you know, everyone had a lot of improvement. But I think more importantly, just the, the game experience I had last year, I think that kind of helped me um, more than anything, more than anything I could do on my own in the offseason. Just having that experience and, and knowing what the coaches want and expect from you um, kind of helps you move along. With, with Mitch out, how much is it on the guards to produce points out of the, the low post, and meaning putting them in position to make easy <coughs> buckets and things like that? Um, I mean, we have other big guys who can step up and score, you know, um, but a lot of our offense is, you know, um, orchestrated by guards play, so we got to have strong guard play and put them in positions to be successful and, you know, have more than enough confidence in our big guys um, to make plays. Right back there with Kyle. With that being said, what have you seen out of Derek uh, in the pick and roll situation specifically? Uh, you know, did was there a moment maybe over the summer where he said, you know, <coughs> this kid gets it just from a pa straight passing ability standpoint, and now maybe he's, that he's learning the offense a little better, it, it's so exemplified even further, maybe. Yeah, he does. He's he's a really good player. He's picked up things very quickly for a freshman. Um, he's really good off the pick and roll. He's really good in transition. Um, he's just he's done a great job with his decision making, um, and as a freshman, that's really impressive. Right in the middle with Mark. Coach Beeline is notoriously tough on the point guards and involved with them. Have you noticed the change in how he's treated you now that he trusts you more than last year? Um, you know, he showed a lot of confidence in me last year um, as well, especially as we went down the stretch there. So it's it's kind of been you know the same as last year. Um, but he does have a lot of um, puts a lot of responsibility on the point guards and you know expects you to value the ball and and take care of it. Um, but that's just kind of what he expects from us. Right back over here with John. There were times last year when you saw a couple of point guards on the court at the same time. Could you see a, a situation where you and Derek were out there together? Uh, possibly. I'm, I'm not really sure about that. That'd be something you know you have to talk to Coach B about. Um, but who knows? You know, he's always changing things up. With the the um, versatility of this team. So you never know. Go back to Kyle. On the eve of uh, an exhibition over, not a real you know game necessarily, but are you about as ready as anyone to, to kind of get started since all off season everyone wanted to talk about you know your first half uh, against Louisville? Yeah, you know I think myself and everyone else we're just ready to get back out there, um, start playing, especially after that tough loss last year, and we're ready to get going. Just playing against you know other teams, we're tired of playing against ourselves in practice, so we're ready to get going. And we'll close with Andy. You you mentioned the guys you have in the front court right now and. Uh, at media day, there were a bunch of guys saying that John Horford might have been the most approved guy on the team over the, the summer. What strides have you seen him make, and what kind of impact do you think he can have on the team this year? Um, I expect John to have you know a big role on our team this year. He he has tremendous work ethic. I mean, he's in he's a gym rat. You know, he was working really hard this offseason. He's gotten a lot better. His you know his shot, um, his ability to finish at the rim, back to the basket, everything. He's just he's gotten so much better. Um, he's improved so much from last year, so we have you know high expectations for Johnny this year. Okay, thank you, Spike.